linear logistics forex channel and in this particular content guys we are going to be showing you how to make money uh from day trading the forex market by using our uh, amazing strategy so guys uh last week i had a very uh awesome trading and i want to share this with you okay so guys uh this content basically is going to be showing back test of how high traded and showing you the exact same strategy that i have been displaying on the channel for some time guys so these are my trades so if you like the idea guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh don't forget to like and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section as we trade forex to millionaire logistics uh, so guys for this strategy guys we'll be starting from the 13th of this month that's on a monday right which is just right here okay so this is what uh we're gonna be doing okay wow not nice okay we use this so guys remember this strategy is all about what the basic of forex trading right technical analysis and guys will be using market structure as well so want to see the market maybe if the market was making what a high want to either trade this point to uh come to a corrective move and to the impulsive phase or if you find the market at this point guys want to take the market higher for the market to complete this simple phase right these simple phases you know market coming from the higher side making um a lower high and then market going further to the downside that's exactly what we want to be doing and also guys we want to be taking advantage of our trading sessions if you don't know much about trading sessions guys you can check our previous uh uh content about trading sessions and all so that will guide you intensely so guys let's just go straight to the back test all right so guys this is where the monday market and guys remember i'm taking cognizance of what i want to see what the asian trading session so i want to use the asian trading session to what see the directional bias of the market and then trade the london session or the new york session in my own preference i like trading the london session so at the beginning of the london session guys i'm in the market a few minutes before then <laughs> so let's see how this works out guys okay uh, so I'll be using my Fibonacci tool. Remember, let's see because this is a back test. As you can see, this is the London session candle. This is where it starts by 10 a.m. chart time in real time, guys, is 9 a.m. Okay. So looking at the market, where is it moving from? Uh, we can see that the market here, since this is what 10 a.m., this is the highest point before the London session, and this is the lowest point. Hence, we're assuming that the market to be in what in an uptrend. Okay that the market will be in an uptrend hence we want to place our fibonacci from the downside to the upside just like this okay so guys if you don't know what i did here guys this is exactly what i did i used the fibonacci tool and placed my fibonacci tool from the lowest point to the highest point because the market was moving in where the upward direction okay the upward direction so i want to see a move like this easy so uh this is exactly what i did here guys so looking at the market guys this is the move this is where the london session begins right and right here definitely <laughs> with my smart trading tool that i uh, created and developed the mlx ivt i'm going to be seeing some uh confirmations here so i'm going to enter this market just right here and guys i don't take more than 20 pips off the market so for this guys this is where i'm existing off the trade so 20 pips that will keep me at what the 79 fib level so this is exactly where i exited this trade right so i i let this move guys i saw it entered my trade here set my uh stop loss on the minus 0 0.27 and then i targeted here right the 79 and i got this profit right simple so this was what i traded guys in this uh scenario where you're expecting the market to come down uh to go for that to the upside i didn't wait for this point rather i entered my trade at this point and exited just right here before the market made the move to the upside that's exactly what i did so guys let's go on to the next day so if you love this guys don't forget to like don't forget to like don't forget to like
stay on the pound USD guys you check the market and look at here this is the Tokyo session the highest point right here is this market before the London session okay so we have here we have here we simply have here uh um we simply have here our lowest point and we have here our highest point by the way this is the point where I'm in the market right here at the at this candle in a few minutes before the London session okay I'm in the market to analyze the market in less than five minutes and get my sentimental uh, bias and trade okay so um i use my fibonacci to once again seeing that the market is going in that direction from the downside to the upside so this is the kind of move i'm expecting guys i'm expecting the market since the market had made the previous one high from the low side to the high side i'm expecting the market to make a corrective move and then an impulsive move further to the upside depending on the time where i see the market so let me say by uh by at the beginning of the london session by 10 a.m chat time 9 a.m real time I see the market somewhere here i want to trade the corrective section however if i find the market at if i find the market at this particular time this is the 10 a.m this is exactly where i want to trade the market and catch that impulsive move to the upside however guys i don't take more than 20 pips from the market you know that's my own personal rule you can select yours your preference but that's my uh, most preferred target okay and i do this every day and consistently okay so uh this is exactly where i find the market and at the beginning of the london session right here 10 a.m nice one i get here in here and this is the target 31 pips but guys regardless i take just 20 pips off the market you know and that's a profitable one all right now uh let's go on to the next day uh it's getting clearer now right okay now in this market scenario guys this is exactly what you want to see uh complex sides okay the highest point right here the market was making a downward move obviously if you enter the market in the tokyo section you're going to see that market making a downward move so i want to see something like this i want to see the market come from the high side i want to see a corrective move to the upside and then i want to uh see the market come for that to the downside okay now if that's if that's correct okay um i'm looking at the market here so guys here you have the london session at this point so definitely uh with the timing guys here yeah, i want to trade a corrective move all right not i want to trade a corrective move of course okay so i use my fibonacci to the highest point the tokyo session today and the lowest point before uh the beginning of the uh at the beginning of the london session okay so this uh have something like this okay now looking at the move guys this is exactly where i want to trade so uh this should be my potential target 38.0 i should be expecting the market to uh have some reactions and react around this level either the 38 the 50 the 61 or the 79 fib level however guys the market is the market it didn't get up to any of these levels but did i make some profit yes because i traded from this point right here so let me show you exactly what my peak was okay now i entered the market here i had the confirmation from the five minutes chart time frame of course my mlx ivt does that for me and i just got 20 pips off the market at this point and i got off the market that's my profit <laughs> that's my take okay so we scale on to the next day um coming uh right here guys same scenario same things guys imagine how beautiful this is guys where you don't have to stress yourself off the, the market and you just go with it five minutes you're getting your profit and you're getting off okay now the same thing guys took your session you can see the market going from the lower side to where you can see this is the highest point before the beginning of the london session right here so i have this move that the market is going to the upside so i want to see uh market move to the high side a corrective move and an impulsive move to the upside now guys regardless of the future uh sentimental directions of the market i care less i just want to get my profit within uh some time within just a few minutes or thereabout so i make the same move highest point lowest point rather to the highest point before the beginning of the london session okay guys at the beginning of the london session guys this is what you can get here you know uh market is already trying to uh make some accumulation right here you can see these are uh, ranging phases but then uh before then guys let's look at the, what we have here before then guys we have this pin bar right this a uh, hammer a bullish hammer so you can see that confirm that the market is making a very uh, bullish move and within here you can see that the market has reacted already at the 38 fib level so this is exactly where i took my trade up to where my 20 pips got me smiling 
up to this point is minus 0 0.27 feet level so that's exactly where i final day on friday which was very intense so this was what we found here this is the market that we found so uh before the beginning of the london session we've seen the market drag down to the downside so obviously guys want to see this kind of move market coming downwards uh making a, a corrective move to the upside and coming for that to the downside now if you look at this market here you find out that uh after market came down to the downside it went to the upside which is less of my business you know because i want to get my 20 pips and i get off the market okay this is a day trading strategy all right so as usual guys i use my fibonacci tool from the highest point of the market of the day and then the lowest point before the london session which will be right here okay which will be right here now guys as you can see this is this is what i call uh <laughs> this is a dark cloud like it's a railway cloud pattern you know that further uh validates that the market will be coming down at least for some time and I got this uh, confirmation from my MLX IVT at the beginning of the London session. And then just what I did, I just extended, took a trade, risky one, uh, set my uh, profit, my stop loss above this candle here, though it's a huge one. And then my take profit at the minus 0 0.27. Right here, it gave me 22 pips. I got off with uh, 21 pips take profit. And that is exactly what I did. Now, what the market did afterwards, all these moves, none of my business. So guys, that's how I trade the market consistently uh, on an average of 20 days in a month. And I'm able to uh, rack up about uh, 400 pips in profit. And I do this consistently, guys. I hardly lose in this game because I've been in it for a long time and I've been honing very amazing strategy, consistent ones. And with here, you can see I have my MLX IVT Smart Tool that helps me. And it's something that I developed alongside with trading sessions, guys. My Fibonacci tool and everything. So guys... Uh, thank you very much for coming this far. I'd like you to subscribe to the channel if you want to see this same strategy tested over and over again to boost your confidence to use this strategy and make profit off the market. Once again, it's the Millionaire Logistics channel. Thank you.